Hey guys, my name is Ismaus and today I want to show you a, a scene breakdown of uh, how to make this camping site in Blender 2.8. Uh, let me show you, I did a quick render animation here in Cycles just to, just to show you how things look. And uh, see, yeah, quite simple. We have some water reflection and uh, a, a forest uh, with a simple camping site. Just rewind this. Yeah, so let me break down other things I did here. I, I kept it very simple. I didn't have any tree models and uh, also I didn't want to have a very long uh, render time. So, I, and since this gave me the results I wanted, you can see I'm just using simple planes for the forest. Uh, it's just an image with a texture of a forest. Sorry, with a texture of a of a tree, simple like that. You can get these images from Google. Just make sure that uh, they are PNG uh, with transparency. Oh, just uh, any format that supports uh, transpar transparency and I just use that. So let me just, yeah, explain uh, the setup here. Let me, let me go to shader editor uh, so that I can, you can just look at, pause for a second if you want to follow the notes I'm using here. Uh, I have the time lapse, a time lapse version of the process uh, from start to finish uh, on my second channel, Blender Money. So if you want to go to that and watch the time lapse, you can do exactly that. So you can see the forest here. Uh, actually, we just uploaded it. Uh, so let me talk about the materials for a second. So this here is just. Uh, because I wanted the color of the trees to be a bit random, uh, since I'm using just uh, a single image uh, to populate uh, the forest, uh, if I just used, uh, it would just make things look too similar. So instead, what I did is uh, used, where is this? Where is, uh, okay, why can't I find the planes? Okay, they're here. Since I knew I was going to use only one instance of uh, the, uh, the a tree, one instance of the tree, and see, it's just the same thing. Uh, there is this object info node uh, that lets you sample all the objects that are using the same material you're using here. Uh, for example, uh, all these tree sample instances are using the same material here, and uh, it can give these trees a random, or these object instances a random uh, color value, black and white value. So you can see, get that. And what I do here, I just colorize that uh, to give uh, this color, this random color for each instance, uh, colorize it to give it some color variation with it, using the color ramp and uh, blend that uh, with uh, this tree texture. Uh, this texture, you can see, let me just zoom in somewhere see maybe somewhere like that so that I can see at least a single tree yeah so you can see that uh, yeah we get I need to select the plane so I think this let me find it here okay it's this tree here so you can see that uh, this image is producing this uh, texture tree. And uh, what I'm doing here is uh, using the overlay map uh, to kind of randomize, to add in this shade of random color out of the tree. And you can see if we blend these two, each of the tree gets a random shade to it uh, from this uh, sample car ramp here. And uh, then what, you, what I'm doing here is feeding this to the translucent shader and uh, the translucent shader helps with uh, making the tree a little bit uh, transparent where the the light hits them so that uh, it's not fully opaque uh, so for example let me see if i can uh, get a light somewhere here to demonstrate what i mean if i add a point light around here uh in the back especially it would come through on this side just a bit, uh, making it seem like a, 
uh, the tree is actually three dimensional and uh, because I also I mix the translucent with the transparent and using the factor uh, sorry the alpha map are from the image as the factor for the mix shader getting me this so you can see with the translucent with this translucent shader if you have a light behind it gives this it makes the tree look a bit three-dimensional even though it's just a, a plane so that's why instead of using a diffuse shader or the, or the principal shader I just use the translucent shader to mix uh, the two so then yeah this the surface where these trees are planted or the ground it's just a very simple surface let me turn off the particles just a plane with a I just moved grabbed a few points with that uh, with a, the proportional editing turned on and I'll drag them up have something like that and then I use the particle system here particle system uh, the rotation is Z object object Z randomize it a bit and also randomize the scale a bit yeah to have them distributed on the surface another thing I would like to point out is that uh, I moved where is my plane Yeah, I made sure also that uh, to make I also made sure to make the pivot point, uh, which I'm not seeing right now. Uh, origin, yeah, to be at the bottom of the plane so that when I'm instancing this, are uh, they just settling above the surface, not above at the ground, not in the middle of the ground. So if you have this, if you have the pivot, the pivot point. In the middle of your plane uh, it will just spawn in the middle of other ground instead of on top of it so make sure you have that at the bottom and uh, then what else what else what else uh, the water is very simple I try to make sure that how uh, actually yeah so for the water I used what did I use yeah I use a, a noise make a noise map at kind of break the reflections a bit uh, because I was yeah to break the reflections a bit I've done uh, quite a few tutorials about about this and, uh, uh, for the camping site doesn't really look that well that nice in uh, EV but uh, in cycles I think it looks quite nicely and uh, I didn't spend too much time on this uh, but I uh, can see the results I do look better so I wanted to make things very simple for me so what I did is I modeled this and uh, the way I made this shape you can of course watch uh, the time lapse but uh, I just added a plane extruded it scaled that the top face a bit and then use ctrl shift b at bevel the at bevel are the selected edges to have something like that and then I just select these corner faces and be with those as well it is a bit yeah something like that I think this is uh, less yeah also so getting this push this up a bit and uh, to give this a more rounded edge a more rounded at top that's what I did here I spent a little bit more time than I shown you here but uh, yeah so then I use a translucent shader to make this let me see where can I let me just select the entire setup here yeah so to make this look uh, more realistic it doesn't look too nice up close but uh, you can see from the render I think it comes out nice uh, without spending too much time modeling a tent and uh, everything like that so uh, for this what I did is I used a blend of a translucent shader and a principal shader uh, the principal shader I was mainly using it to uh, to add in some details that are not really coming in here that well uh, I wanted to have some displacement on the surface here to make it look like cloth so if I disable this let me just show you this you can see that uh, 
that this has some wrinkles on it. Yeah, can see. They don't really come out uh, that much with the principal shader, but uh, you know, actually they do from the inside. Uh, so I think maybe I should have flipped. Oh, I know, I understand why. Okay, so for for this to come out very nicely, uh, you have you need to have a light. Yeah, uh, because these wrinkles are based on a uh, bump maps fed into the normal map and that normal maps don't really show very well without a light source so you can see where, where we have a light source uh, those wrinkles or those folds show up nicely now basically this is just a, a, a wrinkles cloth wrinkle texture that I got from Google I can maybe make these wrinkles a bit larger and there you can see maybe reduce so there are small things you can do to make things look more realistic. And uh, actually, let me bring that back for now. Maybe I should also have made this a bit reflective. Yeah, it, it would help on making those look more pronounced. Maybe just move this light, have another light here as well. Sure, this is recording. Yeah, so then uh, you can see we have these supporting, I don't know how they call them, but uh, those are very simple. Just, uh, I just selected this face here, duplicated it, hit insert, and then deleted those faces, extruded that, and uh, separated this into its own object and uh, gave it a mirror modifier and I uh, gave it a different material as, which makes it yeah seem like uh, there are some supporting uh, poles within the tent you can definitely do more with than, than I'm doing here but I just wanted to make a quick scene within 30 minutes which was I think uh, the time I spent on this uh, the entire scene so and then yeah the grass is also very simple I use the same technique uh, for the trees and you can see then for the mist or fog. I'm not even sure what the correct word for that is. There's so many names for it, but uh, I just use a volumetric shader in the world uh, settings here. Hmm? I actually didn't. I used a cube, this cube here, and uh, gave it a principal volume. You can see the settings I'm using here. Again, you can also watch the time lapse if you want. But uh, then, what else, what else, what else, what else? Let's uh, watch the animation one time so that I can see if there is anything I'm missing. Yeah, I think that's it. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.